here to put some southern charm on a traditional strawberry shortcake is someone who is no stranger to our home and our kitchen. I would say Sadie, Sadie, married man, but it doesn't really have the same ring. Welcome back, our good friend, our good new married friend, Duff Goldman. Welcome back, honey. We're so excited to have you here. Thanks, good to be here. I love that your first stop after your honeymoon is right to our kitchen. Now that's a yeah. friend. Right here, right As here. As you can see, joining Cam at the counter is Paigey and Sarah Rue, because honestly, I'm not even overselling this, Sarah, when I say that you are his biggest fan. Actually, I want to just correct you. I think my daughter is his Aww. biggest fan. I am your second biggest fan. <laughs> we watch every episode of Kids Baking Championship together. And it's then a good show. It's so good. Now she wants a chocolate Grenache for her birthday. Oh, I you're going to have to tell me how to make that. Sure. Yeah. Boy, you're going to have to teach her. First, you're going to teach her how to make this amazing strawberry shortcake. Probably yeah. the best one I've ever had. So you guys dig in. Okay. So April is really peak season for strawberries, isn't it? Is. It? it is. This is when strawberries are big. Big and red and juicy and perfect, mm -hmm. and this is when you want to eat them. Strawberry shortcake for me is the best way to eat strawberries because you're getting all this good stuff. You're getting some ice cream, you're getting some whipped cream, you're getting all these things, but you're getting delicious strawberries mm. as they're meant to be eaten, which is just diced up and that's it. And you're getting your delicious biscuits, which are yeah. really second to none. <laughs> so how do we make those? Okay, so in the bowl I have flour, salt. Um, and baking soda. Okay. Yeah, baking soda is in there. And then this is lard. So you like to use lard. I like in your to biscuits. use lard. Okay. Yeah. Um, now a lot of people, uh, you can you can go all butter. All right. You can also do a mixture of you know butter and lard if you like the the, the flavor better of mm. the uh, of the butter, but you still want like the body of the lard. Okay. You know? So you prefer just doing full lard because you just. That's how I learned how to bake. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to the roots. So do you have yeah. to incorporate that all really completely into the No, lard? no, you don't want to. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of cutting the lard in, but I'm just tossing it. I just want to oh, okay. kind of get that lard in there because you want the big chunks. Okay, you keep it light. Keep it light. Just like when you're making pie dough, you want to make sure that there's big chunks of fat in the dough mm. so that when it bakes, you get these you get the flaky the layers. layers. Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. So here's buttermilk. Oh, so good. Mm. Buttermilk biscuits. There's nothing better. Nothing better. And then you don't want to, now, now you really don't want, you want to make sure you don't like mix this too much. Okay, what do you need from me? Like a spatch, like this. Guy. There you go. Yes, yeah, it's perfect. So then all you're going to do is gently just kind of fold the biscuits around and this will make a dough. So it's kind of going to be, the dough is going to almost look a little floury, almost. Very. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. but that's the way you want it. Uh huh. That's the way you want it. And so we're, you just kind of you mix. Now what about this? Do we add that in? No, that's just for the table in, okay. ca in case it gets a little too sticky. All right. Yeah. And this is go. really it. Are we ready to make them? I mean, it's worth the wait though. They're incredibly are they flaky good? and yeah. really good. delicious. And man, oh man. It mm -hmm. doesn't need anything else in there. No, that's it. Oh my gosh, yeah, I wouldn't have eggs, thought it was ready. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got to mix it. All right. It takes a minute. <laughs> so don't use your stand mixer then because it'll harden them up. Well, if you use a stand mixer, it's going to cut all the fat way into the dough and then okay. it's, your, your base is just going to get a big mess. All right. All right. Should we try it? Let's try it. Okay. Let's see what happens. Do you want me to put this down on the... Uh, I think we can. <laughs> we're good? Okay. So... Are you learning actually... anything, Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, now you can see. Oh, yeah, look at right? that. It does come together. It just kind of comes together. <laughs> okay. We don't need to make all this. Okay, we'll set that <laughs> aside. All right, so all you really do is kind of just press it together. Don't work it too much. You don't want to knead it, right? This is wanna... really good to see because yeah. I think a lot of people make the mistake of really combining your biscuit I dough. And then it's like. That's what I would have done. <laughs> <Way too laughs> I think much. Sarah knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, about. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> And then you take it. It's almost falling apart. It's, yeah. That's how you Whoa. want it. You want it falling apart. When they're falling apart like that, they're going to fall apart in your mouth. Oh, okay. You're I like that. And when huh. you have a dough that's like yes, really I agree. hard and put together, right? It's, <laughs> yes. gonna, it's, it's gonna, falling it, apart in my mouth. It's not going to fall apart. Okay. You know, and then you, have a, you, then you have a biscuit that's way too dense. Okay. So now we're going to pop this in the oven. Yep. Well, we got to egg wash them. Oh, the egg wash. You got to egg right. wash them. Here, this is what I'll do for you. I'll move all this. Okay. So a little bit of egg wash. Okay. I like how all my demos are like, well, it took a long time. 
That's okay. Because <laughs> the truth of the matter is, if you're at home making this, this is how long it's going to take That's you. You know, we try to takes. speed things up for television, but it's never going to come together in your own kitchen in seven minutes. Is the end to keep not. it together, or is it just for visual for that brown kind of the, uh, <clears throat> golden look? It, it, so the, the egg wash is going to make it nice and golden brown and crispy. Okay. And then also, if you want to, like, sprinkle a little bit of salt on here. Oh, I see. You know, something like that, it's going to help it stick. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Okay, so you're going to put that in the oven for how long and at what temperature? At 375 for about a half an hour. Okay. So think about biscuits. Oh, oh that's wow. Nice. Yeah. I mean, TV magic. Yeah. Look at that yeah. Puffed yeah. up. That's beautiful, Duff. Yeah. Duff. yeah. All right, so now basically nice we're animals. done. Now, well, we now we're done, and now we're going to build a thing. Let me okay, here you go, honey. You want this? Stuff. I got a wet one. Okay, perfect. I'm going to clean all this. We're going to put so. this on our plate. And now we're going to build your beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you'll shortcake. probably get to this, but what am I tasting underneath it? You're tasting, okay, so the, there's, uh, there's a couple different things. It's, there's so many flavors and almost like a sour taste, but it goes with the sweet. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, it's an explosion. Oh, oh, break that. apart. Just wow. Like, yeah, you don't need to cut it. It should, you know, if you do it right, okay. it should just break <laughs> apart. So that what you're tasting is uh -huh. creme fraiche. Oh. So creme fraiche is kind of like, oh, you need it on the, yeah, on the why? Dude. Yeah, okay. it was underneath. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, so like this that? is yeah. So this is a whipped creme fraiche with vanilla, right? Kind of spread it around, and then here's the bottom, and then strawberry ice cream. Because yeah. why yeah. not? It's ridiculous. Right? I don't think I've ever had strawberry shortcake with strawberry ice cream. It's the best possible. There you go. Strawberry shortcake. And in then mm -hmm. here's some strawberries. Hey, Listen, while you're building that, um, I gotta ask you, I know you're just kind of finishing up there, but you've been having so much fun with Cake Boss, we all have, but we wanna ask you about your new show, Buddy versus Duff. Yeah. This looks uh, equally uh, as much fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, fun's one word for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, it's wild uh, is what it is. It what is, is wild. So this is whipped cream, a little bit more, oh. and then a little powdered sugar. So basically, you and Buddy go head to head. Yeah, so we're going head to head every week, and the first part of it is a baking challenge, and then the second part is a cake decorating challenge. Oh, yeah, interesting. And it's, it's cumulative. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. It's a okay. point thing, I and see. right now I'm ahead. Right now I'm you're ahead. You, you can't, you can't like give away that. too yeah. much, but we do have a clip. <laughs> uh, let's take a look. Oh, you do? Uh-oh. You know, the hardest part of this cake is not the cake, it's the construction. We're working on a big assumption here. Ah, oh, yeah, that I can fit inside of that box. Oh, shit. Oh. So, <sighs> no, not gonna work. You it can't just, get that one shoulder. It just looks like you're hunched in a box. We're building a full-size coffin, and Jeff tried to get in it. Let me try it this way. Not that that's gonna really make a difference. No, this is terrible. That's clearly not what's supposed to happen. <sighs> we don't have much time. <laughs> Jump out of the cake when someone feels a cake in and someone jumps out. So this week, this Sunday, uh, what the, was that? the cake challenge is at the Magic Castle. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes and sense. So now. I'm building a cake that I put my sous chef in, and then I <laughs> cut I, him in half. I cut him no, in half. No. Yeah, I cut oh, him in half. And so gosh. we're trying to figure it out. And, you, yeah. Measure him That's first, awesome. maybe next time. Make yeah. sure he fits yeah. in there. Yeah. Yeah. Like the pinch can yeah. help you out with that. Pinch can help you out with that. Measure twice, cut once. Especially Listen, cut he's, once if he's inside. Yeah. He's yeah. taller than I than I thought. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what you got just right though is this strawberry. Oh, thank yes. you. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I know you guys are having it, but always great having you in our house. Thank you so much.